Okay, histograms and scatter plots. So I've already got my like the script set up and my interpreter set up. And I'm just gonna load up this data right here. I'm just gonna copy paste all this, get rid of these extra arrows, don't need those. And of course change numpy to np. np, there we go. And I'm gonna plot these things as a histogram. So plot.hist d1 dot hist d2 dot hist d3 and then plot dot show and let's run the script 11.3 give it a second has to load everything and there we go now you know th this is a histogram we've got two normal distributions here one centered around zero one centered around five and we've got a Poisson distribution if you don't know what that is don't worry about it it's just another type so, you know, I can't really, like one's obscuring the other, so we can actually add an alpha to, to our information here. And then when I rerun it, you'll see that they kind of become see-through. So now you can kind of see how they overlap, which is pretty cool. And I can change how this one, this one's centered around 15 now, and make, let's make this one negative 10. Close it, rerun it. There, now, now we can see how it changes. So that, that's pretty cool. But let's scroll down to here and we can actually plot a scatter plot. So we can do, like it says right here, plot D1 against D2. So I'm just gonna get rid of this right here and change this to plot.scatter D1 against D2, there. And run 11.3 again. So th there's nothing particularly interesting here. I mean, it's just random noise, kind of. It's two normal distributions plotted against each other. But if we look back to the website, it tells us to create a D4, which is, let, let me paste it in here first, and we'll see that it really is just, D4 is D2 plus some constant, so just plus one. So nothing really, just a, plus a constant. And then this right here, which is really just a fancy way of saying, just add normally distributed noise to the data. And then if we plot D2 against D4, let's run it. Now there's actually something interesting. It seems to almost be on a line, which makes sense because it's almost like plotting D2 against D2, but it's D2 against D4, but D4 is based on D2. In fact, I'm curious as to what the Pearson correlation is here. So let's throw that back in here print scipy.stats dot pearson r and we'll give it d2 and d4 and let's run it again and see what we get so there's the plot and i mean the pearson correlations 0.978 i mean they're very linearly correlated but that makes sense because it's almost exactly the same data